Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Elaine. I'm the owner of Love Basket Express. Um, guys, I'm gonna show you how to take a simple gift um, and make it stand out of the crowd. Um, and by doing that is by making a bow. Um, so this is one of my simple bows that I like to do. Now, if you have issues with your hands, um, like hands cramp up, um, this may not be the best bow to make, um, but it is my go-to bows now. <laughs> I recently just started doing them uh, not too long ago, and I kind of like how they turned out um, because one, it allows me to be very creative and use multiple shades and colors of ribbon. So as you can see, I'm going to be using these three and also a um, tan ribbon, tan uh, 1.5 inch uh, ribbon, and it's going to be, and also some gold. And it's going to be, um, the tan is trimmed in gold. And then I have some gold, uh, glittery, shiny ribbon, as you can see. Um, this is ribbon that I caught after after the holiday sale and things of that nature. Um, this is another color I'll be using, which is red and white, like buffalo plaid. Um, and then I'll be using a light pink. Here is the tan trimmed in gold. As you can see, I don't know if y'all can see the gold trim around it. Excuse my ashy knuckles. I just washed my hands and baby, they are rough. Um, now for the dark pink, um, I just want to use strips. And the only reason why I use strips is because that just adds extra, um, just like extra, mm, I guess you want to call it, to the, to the bow. Um, so what I did was I took just some sheer pieces um, you can take any color, whatever. I always advise to use, if you're going to do this, use like the 1.5 inch ribbon to do so. Um, but you can use the 2 inch. I mean, it's up to you. It's your preference. So anyway, um, what I'm making a bow for are these mug gifts that I'm putting together. Um, most of you all know where these mugs come from. Um, and then I just added some cherry blossom bath salts and some cherry blossom lotion. Um, these are pretty big, large lotions. I just stuck them down in there. Um, if those of y'all follow Birth and Bosses by Felicia, she showed you how to add a little bit of material um, into the, the gifts. I chose to do that because for these particular gifts because they're small and dainty. Um, and, I mean, it really is no point in like putting shred in just around these little cups. So, I did it like that. Um, and then I'm also going to be adding a rose. Um, these are roses that I purchased off of Amazon. They come like this in a very large quantity. I believe you get, uh, I want to say 60, 60 roses. Um, but I purchased these 2020, um, around this time in 2020. Um, and I purchased a lot of them like a lot a lot because i use these a lot for valentine's day and then valentine's day gifts um but i also use them in mother's day gifts pretty much year round so i always try to make sure i have them on hand these are my favorite favorite roses i used to make wedding bouquets that's a whole nother story we're not gonna talk about that but i did a set of wedding bouquets for one of my close friends for her wedding and these are the roses that i used and i fell in love with them ever since so now when I add roses to my baskets and stuff like that, these are the roses I get. And I get them in all colors. As you can see, there's white. Uh, well, I don't get them all colors, I take the back. Unless it's like somebody needing something done, which, anyway. <laughs> um, but for the occasion of Valentine's Day, I always make sure I get red, pink, and then white. Um, so as you see, I have these large bins behind me. I keep all my roses in one. All right, so anyway, I got some pre-cut because I uh, am always making gifts and I may have some left over that I didn't use um, for a particular gift. So anyway, they're real to touch. They're foam, um, but they're really pretty and look kind of real or whatever. So I'm just going to add this to the front of this cup. Um, but I didn't come on here to show y'all how to make this. <laughs> I came over here to show y'all how to make the bow. So anyway... This is my little gift idea, um, and that's the gift set. 
but for the bow let's get that out of the camera um basically i take the first piece whatever bottom piece i want to use which i'm going to use the glitter gold on the bottom piece and then because this has a dull side i open it up and i pinch one side and then i kind of slightly turn the dull side down to where i still have my loop but as you can see the dull sides on the back and the shiny sides on the front so i just twist it a little bit um where i still get my loop but also get the two shiny sides on both sides um so i got that and then we're basically going to take the other piece i just fold them in half and duct tail them um and then you're going to pinch it i kind of shot call this where i want to pinch it at once you get the hang of it you'll start seeing what i'm saying and then you just want to turn this one the opposite way this one doesn't have a dull side so you don't have to worry about that uh but you want to make sure the loops on the opposite sides and then you can fan out your tails if you want to now or you can do it when you get done with the bow so as you can see we have a bow um before i forget and i always do this i'm going to put one of these on the bottom and one on the back on the top so i'm just going to pinch this down the middle And I'm just going to place it on the bottom of this bow. And then I'm going to add my pink. And since we took the red this way, we're going to take the pink this way. And then we're going to kind of angle it where the pink is going downwards from the gold. Like so. And then we're going to take our tan. The tan I cut a little bit shorter. Um, and also the pink. And then we're gonna take our tan and we're gonna go the opposite way where the red is going down, the tan is going up. Um, and then we're just gonna spread the wings out a little bit. And then we're just gonna take the last pink piece and we're just gonna place it on there uh, in opposite direction of the other pink on the bottom. Take our string. I'm gonna tie this up. And we're going to double tie it to make sure it don't come apart. All right. And you just kind of want to go back, like I said, fluff everything out. Turn everything the way it should be or you want it to be. And there's your bow. Simple as that. So when you finish and you put it on your gift, there's your gift. Um, I like to put the nice fancy bows. Uh, I mean, these are simple. Um, you can do this with any ribbon. I don't care where you get the ribbon from, Dollar Tree. I don't care if you pay the penny for the ribbon, 25 cents. Just cut you some small pieces, depending on how big you want the bow. Um, and yeah, it's a cool little method. Easy way to make bows. Um, I'm going to start pre-making bows for all my gifts for the holidays and stuff. Um, go ahead and knock that out of the way. Um, grab me a box and toss them all in there and We'll be ready to go for the rest of the holiday. Um, so thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.